I wish you could find this at the Papa John's. <laughs> Not gonna happen. The only way to taste it, it's to make it. Guess what? I'm not gonna use a savory pizza dough to make a dessert with. That'll be way too easy. So in order for your dessert pizza to get to the next level, you really have to think about something different. A chocolate brioche dough, it's gonna be the perfect match. First, I'm gonna combine dry ingredients together, such as flour, sugar, salt, cocoa powder, and instant yeast. Then I'm gonna add cold milk or water and eggs. Mix up with your fingertips until it comes together. Transfer onto your work surface and knead stretched out the dough until it becomes elastic. It should take 10 minutes, it's a good workout. I choose to do it by hand, but you know what? Use your stand mixer if you wish, that's your take. Yet, stretch it, smash it, knead with max pressure. Yeah, have no mercy. So when it's completely smooth and elastic, you want to add the butter. The butter should be cool and supple. For faster results, incorporate butter using half of the dough first, then add remaining. Continue to knead until smooth and glossy. My brioche looks actually a bit soupy because the butter was in fact too soft. In this case, freeze the dough for 20 minutes and knead again and do that a couple of times. Doing so, it'll get firmer. Cover the dough and let the fermentation go. In about an hour, it should have doubled in size. Look at that, Papa! This is what I am talking about. Beautiful. Divide the dough into three equal portions and shape into tight rounds. So what you want to do next? You want to put this in the freezer. This will slow down the fermentation process, freeze 20 minutes on each side and refrigerate until ready to use. Then flatten into a pizza, cover and let proof for 30 minutes. Then puncture with uh, your fingertips and top with chunks of butter and a mixture of brown sugar mixed with molasses and pop in the oven for 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. Then spread mascarpone or heavy cream and bake again for 8 minutes more. Now top with dark chocolate disc. Hmm, interesting. These look like pepperoni, right? Allow chocolate to melt for 45 seconds in the oven. Last touch-up, you can garnish your chocolate pizza with your favorite fruits. I picked some raspberries, blueberries, figs and groseille pour la décoration. To get the full recipe, go to brunoalbuz.com. Please subscribe, like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Thank you again for watching and see you very soon. And good news, try this out and tag me on Instagram. Wow. This is totally, totally insane. <laughs>